good morning students grade 6 students here uh, I'm continuing the lesson about wonders of living world here now I am explain the characteristics of organisms first characteristics is growth okay here Growth. What is growth? Growth is the increase in size, height or amount is called growth. Increase. Increase kya ne vadi ve na? Vadi ve ma ta var pramanish vadi ve ma. Mona wad size, height and amount. Size per manaya, height usa amount per manaya. May with here the body we ma apikeno growth kela vardhane kela. Ito kote satun shark shudra jeevi microorganisms may hamo ma vardhane kena lakshane pena ma jeevi ekuna hamma he lakshana tika pen man no ani. Okay. Oh, we will move to next one. The next topic is nutrition. Nutrition. Nutrition ki anima kaad. Poshanaya. Poshanaya. <laughs> Satisfying the food requirements of organisms is called nutrition. What is satisfying? Satisfying kya namukha the satisfying food requirements. Satisfying food requirements kya ne? Jeevi in thama ahara avashita sapura ganeem. Thama yapi portion eke de kya ne? Thar satisfying kya namukha the? Sapura Ganeem Sapura Ganeem Food requirements kya ne? Ahara Avashita Requirements kya ne? Manada Avashita Avashita तोड़ जीवन तमा हराशता सपुरा गनी में तमा यहाँ पे पोषण एक ही लक्ष्य आने हर देन देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिसम्स टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिसम्स दे आर वी कैटेगराइज इन टू ग्रुप्स ड्यू टू दे आर सेटिस्फाइंग फूड रिक्वायरमेंट्स ये गुलाम हराशता सप कैनी में विद्या आनो अभी जीवन को टास देख कर टा बेतन हुआ इतामाए ऑर्डर ट्रॉफिक ऑर्गेनिसम्स की क्या है Organisms divide into two groups. Autotrophic organisms and 
the third traffic. Oh, goodness. Sense. Okay. Autotrophic organisms means they can produce their own food. Heterotrophic organisms They cannot produce their food okay who is autotrophic organisms cow the may autotrophic organisms la the in okay autotrophic organisms are example green plants Heterotrophic cartiathamai animals animals and uh, microorganisms. Okay. Here, in green plants, look at here, this is a green plant, yes sun, they get sunlight, and uh, to produce food, they need these requirements. Okay, food uh, to produce food, they need uh, first sunlight, and they absorb water from the soil by roots, and carbon dioxide. Side uh, from air, Surya Loke, Labagano, Pasalatian Jalaying Jalay Labagano, Mulmagina, Shoshinekaragano, it was a patrol in carbon dioxide, Vate in a carbon dioxide, our Shoshinekaragan, Megula Makatekarane Ahara, Nipadavagano, Patratule. Okay. Ahara nipadavana kota when producing food when producing food here they can produce food and when producing food they release uh, here yeah, the leaves release oxygen gas also this oxygen gas uh, is taken to our respiration apisosane sandahame vaate bavita karana oxygen vaate shaka nipadavana oxygen vaate api 
ශ්වසනය සඳහා ජීවීන්ගේ ශ්වසනය සඳහා භාවිත කරනවා. එතකොට මේ ඉපදවන ආහාර ෆෝර් ෆුඩ් රිකවයමන්ට්ස් වලට භාවිත කරනවා. ඔකේ. ඔක්සිජන් භාවිත කරනවා මොකටද? ෆෝ respiration respiration swasanaya sandaha the food aini padona ahar bhavita karanawa for they are food requirements ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ ආහාර අවශ්‍යතා වලට මේ නිපදවන ආහාර භාවිත කරනවා. ඉතින් ශාක මේ විදිය ක්‍රියාවලියක් කරනවා. This process මේ ක්‍රියාවලියට this process is known as photosynthesis. මේ ක්‍රියාවලියට අපි කියනවා ළමයි ෆොටෝසින්තසිස් නැත්නම් ප්‍රභා සංශ්ලේෂණය කියලා. හොඳයි මගේ දරුවන්ට දැන් තේරෙන්න ඕනේ. There are two types of organisms due to their food requirements. ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ ආහාර අවශ්‍යතා අනුව ආහාර අවශ්‍යතා අනුව ජීවීන් කොටස් දෙකකට බෙදනවා. Autotrophic organisms and heterotrophic organisms. Autotrophic organisms කියන්නේ ස්වයං ස්වයං ආහාරනිපදවාගන්නේ Uh, autotrophic organisms the example for autotrophic organisms are green plants here in green plants uh, there is a process called photosynthesis it's a process called for this produce food they need carbon dioxide uh, water and sunlight uh, by absorbing these three uh, materials and energy from the sunlight uh, they can produce food and oxygen oxygen is uh, used for respiration for the organisms and uh, food is used there are food requirements of the organism okay children jeevin me prabha sanslayan prabha sanslayan kriya wale ni padavana aahara saha oxygen vaataya bhavita karana aahara bhavita karana igulange aahara avashyata sapura ganimata oxygen vaataya bhavita karana igulange sasanaya avasasanaya sandha okay uh, heterotrophic organisms okay we will see uh, so heterotrophic organisms how they can uh, satisfy their food requirements okay here think there's a cow 
There is a cow. Eating grass. There is a cow eating grass. Uh, their food is green plants. And also, There is a lion here. Okay. There is a lion here. Uh, when eating grass, grass, cow eat eating, eating grass, grass kyanne, uh, plant a kakne, etakota, me cow. Aharata gane monada shark plants. Etta uh, this cow is directly depend on plants. Direct directly depend on plants okay children you can me haraka shaka matha rejuma yapena depend ki ane mokadde to kota yapena okay depend ki ane yapena Then me sing here, my God, Lion. Lion. Lion eat cow. Lion karanne harakaba hai da ganne. So the lion is indirect. In directly depend. On plants. Sing here. Vakrava shaka matha yapena. Vakrava. Eki ane ko matha. Shaka lion. Nathan sing here. Harada ganne. Kau unat. Kau ge ange ti enne mona shakti ed. Me plants waling hamme na. Energy ke tamai me aage aage thi enne. Itto kotha khau ahar eda gatha ham singhya da ham bennet manushakti eda me shaka vala tibuna shaka vala labuna harakata labuna shakti eda tamai singhya da labenne. Itto kotha api vakra balu ham singhya atma kadavenne indirect venava indirectly. Indirectly depend on plants. Shaka matta vakra vya apena ya thanakula kya vya nati unat ya shaka aharata garna satek aharata garna kutta ya ta labe ne shaka wala gabada vila ati buna shakti ema tamay. Potion ema tamay. Theru nada eka tamay me direct depend and indirect depend kela kya. Theru nada. Hari. Manthi hita no direct depend direct kya ne rujuwa. Yapena indirect depend kya ne vakra vya apena Riju Riju Vakra Vakra vya apim Riju vya apim Vakra vya apim Hari Magi puthalata maang hitha no Dengula and thera no Here I explain About 
Okay, I explain about uh, organisms, nutrition of the organisms. There are two types of organisms, autotrophic and heterotrophic. Well, you know who is organism, you know, autotrophic organisms, green plants. And, uh, they can produce food, their own food. Uh, that is called photosynthesis. That process is called photosynthesis. And uh, heterotrophic organisms, you know, animals and microorganisms are the examples and um, heterotrophic organisms they cannot produce their own food and uh, here i explain uh, you about uh, how they depend on plants uh, direct and indirect here uh, cow is uh, depend on directly in plants lion uh, such kind of lion uh, uh, is indirect uh, depend on plants. That means, me vage haraka vage sathe shaka matra rijuva maya peno ya shaka harite garne. Eto kote singhya vage sathe vakrava shaka matra ya peno ya haraka harite gatta haraka gya gya tiene shaka vala shakti ne sa. Har mage putala te mangi tano dal teere no ati kiala. This lesson on the part of nutrition, okay. Uh, I told you to do an uh, homework. Um, I will explain uh, that one also. Here, you to uh, uh, plot a table uh, and uh, do this kind of work. I told you to three uh, uh, I told you to uh, plot a table uh, or and write heterotrophic organisms no uh, I told you to uh, there are three types of organisms heterotrophic organisms they are uh, herbivores Beaver, or uh, carnivores, and omnivores. I told you to um, stick some pictures and name about the animals of herbivores and carnivores and omnivores do that one in your textbook okay and uh, write this note also in your textbook this note also uh, okay uh, write down this note in your textbook also okay uh, we will uh, Move to next part of the lesson. Next part is movement. I will explain this lesson in another video. Okay, goodbye.